Hi fellow stargazers, here's a quick video to show you how to measure the height, the altitude of the moon, and the azimuth, the degrees from north that the moon's located in. So you can use those measurements to make your moon calendars. So here's our astrolabe, and you simply look through here, point it up to the object that you want to know the altitude of, and for us it'll be the moon. So I'm going to pretend like my moon is right there and I'm holding it up and then I can see here it's 30 degrees. You read this number right there. So it's 30 degrees higher than the ground level, which is zero. Altitude's pretty straightforward. Azimuth has a little more involved. For azimuth, you want to know how many degrees from north your object is along the ground. So use your imagination and pretend like you're sitting in the middle of a giant circle. A circle has 360 degrees. We're going to practice that really quickly. So for my, for me, my compass is facing north right here. So I'm looking at my compass. North is this way. That's zero degrees of the circle. Now if I made a quarter turn to the right that's facing you, that's 90 degrees, or east. Now, if I make another quarter turn to the right and face south, that's 180 degrees. I'm gonna make one more quarter turn and face west. That's 270 degrees. And one last quarter turn to go back to north completes a circle, which is 360 degrees, and it's also zero degrees where we started. That's the degrees that you want to measure. That is the azimuth that you want to measure to find the moon and to record that on your calendars. So I'm gonna demonstrate that, how I would find that right now. So I'm gonna pretend like the moon now is here, facing that direction. So how do I use my compass to find azimuth? I'm holding my compass right now, and when you hold your compass, hold it flat, but I want to have my compass facing north still, it's pointing north still, and I'm facing the moon. So I'm pretending like the moon is right here and my body's facing the moon, but I'm holding my compass just in front of me, but it's still pointing north. Now you want to line up the dial on your compass to where N, north, is right lined up with north. And that's zero. And if you do that, then what direction you're facing, you just read your little dial on your compass. And I, mine says east, and right here I counted with you yesterday in a video, um, or in our class, and I counted each little mark is 10 degrees. And here I'm counting 90. So I'm facing 90 degrees, which is east, and that's where the moon is for me right now. And that's how you can use your compass to find azimuth. There's another way to do it too using your fists. If you know where north is, which for me showing this to you, north is right here. You know where north is, you can use your fists, which are 10 degrees each, to measure the azimuth of where the moon is, the distance the moon is from north. So I'm gonna hold out my fist towards north, which is zero. And I said each fist is 10 degrees, and I'm gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And there it goes right under the moon, and that is 90 degrees azimuth. So you can use your fist too to measure degrees. I hope that was helpful. Now go outside and find the moon, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you record, the measurements you record. And don't forget to record the time and also draw the moon. And when you draw the moon, you can just use a pencil and you can draw the circle and fill in the shadow part of the moon. And you can also fill in the light part of the moon. You can use colors if you would like, or you can just make it black and white. It's up to you. But I'll see you next week. Look forward to seeing you guys.